Hey everybody, JB back with you once again for another CC2 LP1 voting video. We are on the second to the last pack, the Harpsichord pack, and we are just 100 levels away, guys. 100 levels away from finishing voting. I'm so excited. And we're going to start things today off with failure to yield to pedestrians. Okay. Um, I feel like I've seen this level before. Like it was in CCLP4 voting. But if that was the case, then it seems to have been... Wait, did I pick up a key? No, the key was there. I think I... Did I pick that up? No, I, I, I forwent it because I, I figured maybe there would be something like this. Yeah, let's do that first. Yeah, there's definitely CC2 elements in this. this so maybe it is an entirely original one. But I want to say I've seen this before. Okay. Um, I see dynamite past the sockets, so I'm assuming those are for bonus opportunities. Okay, so we're going to need to switch the toggles. I'm just looking around for now, making sure there's no uh, stuff that we need to get before others. I think the thieves there were the biggest part of that. That was unfortunate. Let's never do that again. Okay, I'll come back for you in just a sec. But for now, let's go ahead and get this. I'm going to go ahead and just push the button. I mean, I guess if we need to push it again, we can. So I was trying to go down there. I don't know why I messed that up. Okay. Let's wait and yield to the pedestrians. All right, so where is the red lock area? Not Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, let's get all these while we're Melinda. Okay, so we got those. Woo, boy. Don't ever try that at home, kids. Okay, so yellow key. We need a yellow door up there. Okay, we can open up all these yellow doors since we're Melinda and all. So we need to be chipped to get those. There's the tank thing. Okay. So there's the suction area. So this will allow us to change into chip, which I think we can do safely since we got all the Melinda stuff. I mean, even if we didn't, we could change back. Um, What do we do? Besides that, or was that it? I think that was it. So what can we do as Chip? There's the area there. Wait, we got something here. Oh, it was this. It was this area. Okay. So now we I take it we need to change back to Melinda to do this part. Okay. So this is basically an item swapper. That's kind of the gist of it. Uh, blue key. Blue key, where are you? Blue doors. There you are. Okay. So we got a wire. I'm not sure where that's used. Oh, here. Okay, so this is it. This is the end. I'm not going to bother with the bonuses. Uh, that was okay, I guess. I mean, it was basically just an item swapper, so I'll give it a two. Loopity loop. Okay, this seems to be a dodging level. We could just go to the exit though. So is this just about getting the bonuses? I think it is. I think this is all the level is. It seems to be symmetrical, sort of. I see that there are intersections where there are past that cross, so the bugs are kind of getting congested up there. Okay, this is a little scary, but we can make it. I'm not going to bother getting the rest of the bonuses. And I'm going to give that a 1. That didn't really offer a whole lot. The Sigil of Fire. Okay, I, are you supposed to get that so I can push the... Okay, I take it that's a... Um, okay, what do these do? 
I don't want to waste the fireballs, so I'm kind of I'm trying to be careful with that. All right, at this point, I'll just use the blocks. I don't think there's any. I mean, if I didn't use the blocks and use the fireball, I'd be wasting a block. I think so. Or wait, maybe not. So I could do that. Hmm. I wonder if we were supposed to use the fireball here. Let's just keep going. Okay, this looks kind of scary here. But not really, it's a pretty stable pattern. So we got a yellow key. All the blocks in this room have gravel under them. There are extra. Okay. Good to know. So I guess we can go in here. Now the question is, are there... Um, do we need to get the fireballs in there? The, the, the real question here. I'm just going to dump these in here just in case. Hmm. It looks like this was intentionally... It seems like this was intentionally set up so that you could do this with either blocks or fireballs. Okay, I think that's all the fireballs, isn't there? Well, wait a minute. No, you couldn't get a block through here, right? Because you would need to go through the trap yourself. Okay, let's just uh, take care of all the stuff in here first. So there's this here, which indicates that we'll need a fire boot to get back. The, it said the blocks have gravel under them, so I'm inclined to believe that gra gravel's the only thing and nothing else. Okay, I don't want to go down there. Unless I have to. It looks like that just leads to a giant fire room. So... Does batting these around... Oh, wait, no, I could make them go back. Ooh. This is kind of dangerous. I don't know what I think of this. I'm afraid I'm going to just accidentally overshoot and... Okay, there we go. So there's a pink button over there that's connected to that. Okay. I'm glad you only had to do that once. That's nice. If you had to do it more than once, I probably wouldn't like that as much. Um, so is that everything? I don't get what this is about. Why is there a, a path here? What is this? Oh, interesting. Maybe we were supposed to keep that fireball in that area. I wonder if we were supposed to. Maybe we were being a little too clever. Let's send them up there and... Okay, good. I was hoping that that would happen. Okay, can we get this into like a state where they're all going, kind of bouncing back and forth, or is that impossible? Eh, this looks bad. This looks bad. Uh, yeah. I feel like we were pretty close to the end, too. Curious to see the, the editor on this one. Yeah, because I would have gotten the fire boots, and that would have meant the ending there, and unless I wanted to go for the bonuses, which I guess you could use for the blocks for. So I am curious to see what the intended solution for that area is. What exactly do you do on this one? I feel like there's a less chaotic way to do it, but let's check it out. Okay, so we did this first move correctly. So do you actually have to get this out of here or do you keep it here? Oh, no, the replay recorder is going and doing what we did. Ah, okay. So you can do that. Interesting. I really like the way this room is set up. It, it's pretty cool how that works.
So I guess the, the question here is, do you just use the blocks on the bombs? Because that would be way less chaotic than what we were trying to pull off. All right, looks like the replay recorder is doing what we did here, too. There we go. Come on, fireball, go and die into the thing. There we go. Well, that's cool, you could do it that way too. I wish there was like fire to protect you from going down there. But I mean, if you don't need to go down there, I guess you don't need to. You can quote me on that, by the way. If you don't need to go down there, you don't need to. I totally forgot you could do it this this way. I was being a complete idiot. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist of it. I guess we don't have to watch the rest of this, but I'm going to. Okay, there we are. Good, good, good. I kind of wish you didn't have to push three blocks here. So it's basically just doing the same thing over and over again, but I mean, I guess it's only three. All right, so now we go to the exits. There you go. I'll give that a 2. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, it was decent, though, but I'm not really interested in seeing that one in the final set. Okay, so let us go to Tori. Oh, this kind of reminds me of the Taurus maze from that... Uh, what was that level called? The, the one I really liked from a few packs ago. Okay, so let's see what we, what we need to do here. I think we need to go... Down to the bottom right first, or yeah, here we go. I can do that. Then I can go up here. There we go. Okay, so now we're in a whole new maze. A whole new maze. Um. Okay, that's a dead end. This is the way forward. Okay. This kind of reminds me of the cube maze level, but um, with different Tauruses, or Tori. That's a dead end. Um, have we gone everywhere or not? Um... Am I supposed to exit the teleport a different way? Maybe that's a... That's kind of a little bit of a mean trick. I mean, it's... You know, I guess it's fair. Okay, so I need to exit out of that one. Which means I need to go in there. There we go. I'll give it a three. I mean, it's okay. I'm not sure that the concept was explored as much as it could have been. But I'm, I'm okay either way if it's in the set or out of it. I think it was better served as like part of a level like it was in that other one. All right, what's new is old. Okay. What is this about? Uh Hmm. Okay, that was not a good idea, but let's go explore. So it looks like we have what? What's all this? This is a really weird level. This kind of reminds me of a lot of levels that were made a long time ago, back like post CCLP2. 
Okay, so these are... Oh my, there's a blob here. That is not cool. Um, okay. Um, how are we going to get over there? I'm assuming through whatever this is. There we go. Is that all the chips or are there more chips? I really hope there are not more chips. I'm going to say that that's all for now. Let's just leave for now. Okay, I see flamethrowers here. I don't know if that's supposed to scare us or what. Okay, I'm going to avoid taking that ship for now. Because if we take it now, it's going to disrupt the whole pattern. Oh, I didn't realize that that was another one. Okay. Alright, so clearly we're going to have to do something about this area too, so... I don't know what, though. Hmm. Maybe we just need to pile them up. Like this. Yeah. Like, the more we pile up, the better. So as long as we can just create straight lines there, it shouldn't be too hard. So how many are there? There's three, at least. Okay. Okay. Uh, almost there, on that one at least. Okay, almost there, on this one. Okay, I'm a little worried that we... Yeah, hang on, how are we going to check this? Okay, we got one more. Good. Awesome. I guess alternatively, we could bounce back with Splash Delay, right? That's possible. Oh, there's another cloner. I did not know that. Okay, let's take care of this one, because apparently there's a chip here, too. Okay, three more? I'm not the biggest fan of this room. I mean, I can kind of appreciate what it's trying to do, but it's... Eh, not exactly my thing. This room is, is basically just a maze, but the different kinds of fire are helping form it, I guess. Which can kind of throw you off, I suppose, but it's not really that hard. It's actually fairly simple to navigate. Okay, where are you going to go? Are you just going to go around the edge? I think so. Oh, you're going to go there. Uh... Okay, so that should take you around the top half at least. Okay, so we, we got that, so let's do this next. Is that all there is there? I really hope that's it. Okay, three left. Okay. Um, where are these last two? Please tell me they're not in here. Uh, I am really lost. Where are these last two? Can we get outside? Where can we go? 
Oh, you can go there. Forgot about that. And man, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, a lot of these exterior wall things seem to just be decorative. They, they don't actually serve like functionality of any sort. And oh no! Oh no! The window went inactive. <laughs> okay. I am curious to see, uh, I'll try to find the last two chips, and then we'll end the, the level. I mean, unless they're, you know, the one thing I didn't think about, they're probably under canopies in the ice room. So I've been operating with the assumption that there's only three chips here, but I bet there's more. I bet there's more. Let's see if that's correct. Yep, okay. I don't know if I like this. This is maybe a little much. So are there ships on the ice corners? Because I'm trying to go here, and I don't see anything. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand how there could be another one there. I feel like we looked at everything. Okay, 13. And then we established there's three here, I think. Or four. Yeah, I think there's four. Let's do the middle one first, just because I want to get the best view of this. Is that it? Okay, that's it. So, yeah, there are four. I'm just doing these first, just so I can get these out of the way. And it was on that one, okay. Okay, so we got three there. Two there, and then two, three there. Is that it? We did it. All right, good. We counted correctly. All right, so we got 10 here. And then we get nine with this one. All right. There's only eight here, though, right? Or did I miscount? Let's go ahead and do this. I don't think it will hurt. Oh no, they're all here, okay. So it wasn't the ice room that we missed stuff. Okay, so there wasn't anything else, it was just the ice room. All right, cool. Now, and what's old is new again. Yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan of that. I didn't really like the blob and the ice thing. That was kind of weird. And then the, I don't know, the block room, I guess could have been the most interesting part of it, but then it ended up, uh, I don't know. It ended up just being more tedious than anything else, and then the forced floor railroad thing was just weird, and yeah, I mean, I'm giving that a one. Alright, Spiritual Firebuster. Okay, so this ghost is going to clear a giant path. Is this going to be just one long spiral? I'm seeing the walls. 
Oh my goodness, it really is just going to be a spiral. Yeah, this is the whole level. Well, I think I know what rating I'm going to give this. And it's not going to be a very high one. Oh well, at least we got a little relief level here. Not that any of these have been particularly hard or anything, but it's always nice to have one of these. Okay, so we're closing in on the middle here. Slowly getting shorter and shorter paths as we go around. Cool. Keep going. There we are. So is there like a flame jet at the very end, or, or what? I'm curious. Still waiting to see the exit, too. Hopefully we can get there in enough time. I hope I'm not too far behind the ghost. Okay, I think we can do this. It looks like it's just going to veer off the whole thing, so... There we go. Oh! No, I died! Okay, well, I'm going to call that right there. It's getting a 1. I'm not really a big fan of that one. I didn't realize it was going to loop back around. Ooh, that's kind of a mean thing to put at the end. Alright, the Ancient Deadline. Okay, so this is kind of like pearl diving or something. Okay, at least there's a way back. And so I take it if I went in here, would I not be able to make it back? Oh, no, I guess not. Okay. I was seeing if you could bust it, but I mean, I figured it was early enough in the level that it wasn't a big deal, but... Well, well played. Um, okay, so now I can go in here and push this. Okay, that clears out more stuff. So the more tank buttons I press, the more I can get through. Interesting. So, with respect to this, am I going to be able to... Uh, okay, there is a button here. So, what exactly are we doing with this? Are we trying to just partial post to this? I'm going to assume yes. Wow, okay, that is not much time. I suppose in future runs, I might want to put this here first. This is a cool concept. Hmm, so there's a, a tank set up over there, too. I wonder what that's about. Alright, so that should be enough, right? I can just go through here and then go right in. Okay, good. Okay. So that's undoubtedly for there. Okay. Yeah, I figured that was going to be kind of a bit of a risk. How much can I get away with here? Can I make it all the way? Yes, okay, good. So I can do this. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I can't get those yet. Hmm. So I have a green key, and I believe there's something here that can help with that. Yeah, it's this one. Oh, I did not realize I needed to go back immediately. That's kind of questionable, but not a big deal, I suppose. Just kind of a little bit of a, one of those things that it feels like you should be able to avoid as a designer. Okay. This room, I like it, but I do think it could have been shortened a little bit. Like, I think once you do this twice, it's fine. 
You don't need to do it three times. Especially since you have to push the button multiple times for a block anyway. Okay, so we made it through there. I like this room. This is kind of a cool way to play with the concept a little bit. Okay, there we go. We made it. Alright, so now I need to make sure when I hit the tank button to run back. There we go. So now I've got more space. I need to get a fire boot before I continue that way, huh? Okay. And we found one over here. And I take it all have just enough. Yeah, okay. This kind of reminds me a little bit of a level from David P1 slash David P2 called Flip Flop, which had a similar conceit to it. Okay, new area. Um, it seems like we're trying to navigate that block. Wait a minute. Am I, did I just cook the level by doing that? I was trying to like slap it on there and I completely forgot we should probably just take it out entirely. But why put a chip under that? Like, that is... That feels like one of those things that's pretty unnecessary. Like, you can easily avoid that, which is... That seems to be the theme with this level right now, is that you could make things a little less frustrating. So wait a minute, if I did this, would that... I'm curious, would that actually slide over once... No. Oh. I did not realize that would be a problem. Okay. I thought it would just be worth a shot. You know, like, I don't know. It just felt like it would be kind of interesting to try that. Okay, so let's do this again. We go through here. Yeah, this room, I like it, but I do think it could be a little less lengthy for what's going on. Also, the time limit for this level, I'm not sure how adequate this is going to be. Okay, and then we'll go here. I'm sure there's an even faster way to do that, but... Just playing it through casually, I feel like it's a little tedious. I guess you could wait to do that room until once you have more clearance. Okay. So let's go back, and we are going to go forward. That sounds counterintuitive, almost. So is the... I'm curious, is the title of this level a reference to the Ancient Temple from CCLP1? That I'm, I'm really wondering about, because a lot of this stuff doesn't feel like the Ancient Temple. Okay. Okay, we're back here again. Alright, so I'm going to make sure I do this. So I'm going to need to turn this around, and then I'm assuming go through here? I'm a little... oh wait, I see. Okay. I think. We'll see if this is actually true. Okay, I, I didn't want to risk it. Now, as far as getting it on there, is there a way to... Oh, wait, I see. We can just do this and get out. I was wondering, do I have to block slap that? I wasn't sure. Okay, so now another 
thing has been opened up. So what are we even doing here? So is there a reason why I shouldn't just do this now? Okay, I'm gonna test this out. Okay, it's good. I just wanna make sure the timing would work. Okay, so that should be enough time to get through this too. I don't know if we were supposed to go over here immediately, but I, I figured I'd just play it safe, you know. Oh. Ah! Why'd I do that? I was so scared. I was like, let's go ahead and go for it. I'm not really a fan of just how strict these are with respect to having only one chance to do these. Like, that seems a little excessive. I'm going to look at this again here just because I want to see what's left. So we would have done all this, gotten the flippers, gone through there, and then we would have had a, an invisible maze to go through. Thankfully, you get chances to do that. And then you just go through this little course here to get to the, uh, the exit. Okay. Oh, that's what the walker's all about. Okay. I like the level, but at the same time, what does this even connect to? Hang on, I, I'm not even showing the, the relevant area here in the editor. This clone machine, where does that go? Oh, the walker. The walker takes care of that. I see. Wait a minute, the walker's pointed west. So what's pressing the buttons? Oh, the ball is pressing the buttons. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. So wait a minute. I guess you would have to hit the the trap button twice? Is that correct? That's a little weird. I guess you could see that, but still. I'm going to give that a three. I, I like the concept, but at the same time, I do think it's a little unrefined like it could be a little bit less strict it could be less um punishing especially later in the level I, I don't think you really need to have one use toggle buttons like that seems a little excessive i'm gonna give it a three all right blobs from beyond all blocks have something underneath okay okay Can't move that one, apparently. So is this teeth supposed to go in here? I mean, I don't see any other use for it, so. Okay, I'd, I haven't seen a lot of blobs yet. I've seen ghosts, but not blobs. Okay, I'm hesitant to move forward with anything here, but we'll do that. Oh, there's the blobs. Um, what on earth is this? I'm a little afraid to go across that. Let's do this. I, I don't know if... Ah, okay. So that's the way to the exit. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, because if I get rid of that ship, I'm pretty much done. Let's go and explore anyway, because I want to see where this leads. And it's early enough that it's probably not a big deal. Okay. Um, seems like there's chips galore underneath that. I'm going to go ahead and just... Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. That was really risky. I don't recommend it. Um, I guess we just go here? This is a really strange level. <laughs> this is honestly really weird. 
Okay, now that teeth is there, which is really concerning. That's what I was exactly what I was worried about. I guess I mistimed that. Okay. Oh wait, I see. You can get the teeth back down in the little nook there. But still, the blobs being there, that's kind of a bit of an annoyance. Let's go here first. Except that's gonna be the socket area, so let's not go there first. Okay, let's just go the way we were going earlier. So was there anything pertinent to this area? There was this, but this ended up not really doing anything for us right now. I say let's just not worry about that. And we will continue on into this area. There's a lot of things about this level that feel very touchy, if that makes sense. All right. So yeah, we can just lead the teeth back down here. That works, I guess. Come on, go back there. I want to... Oh boy. I have... Eh, forget it. We'll just do that. Why not? Okay. I went too soon there. That's the problem from earlier. Okay, we need to wait. That's an interesting dodging section. Okay, good. The problem here is I need to get that blob back into its original spot. Come on, blob. Get back down there. Because, like, it's no use for me to go down there. Like, I don't know if I even can. Okay. So now I can go safely into this zone. Except I'm going to need to make absolutely sure... There we go. That that was what I was mainly concerned about, was that. Okay, so now where to next? I Up here, I guess, because this is where the yellow is. So yellow key takes us here. Gives us a green key. And what is this all about? I mean, I guess I don't have much of a choice over here, right? So I would just explode this. Okay. What did that accomplish? I'm not sure that really did anything. I mean, I guess we can check what happened here. I mean, we did this with this button. So I still have a green key. Where do we use a green key? Was there a green door somewhere here? Oh, I can't go back through that. Ooh. No green key to use there. Huh. Where Have we even seen a green lock before? I'm not sure we have. So there's 10 ships left. We didn't do something terribly out of order, did we? I'm still worried about that dynamite issue. Like, I'm wondering if we were supposed to wait to get fire boots and then step into the flame jet to do what we just did. Or if there's more to it. Maybe this... Hang on a sec. Maybe there's uh, something... There we go. That was what it was. There's the fire boots. Okay, there's the fire boots. So, that would mean that I would have had to get, yeah, I would have had to wait over here so I could get that blown to clear the path. Oh, yeah. 
I should have waited to do that. What's, I tell you, there's a third blue key behind this too, right? This area over here. Let's see what this is about. Oh, you could exit here. Wait a minute. Where do you get a third blue key? I mean, I, I see that there's bonuses and stuff, so apparently not all the keys are necessary, but there's one there, the one we got there. Did we just miss one or what? I'm not seeing a third one. Oh, wait, no, there's only two doors. For some reason, I thought the exit was another blue door. Wow. All right, so I'll give that one... <laughs> I'll give it a two. I'm not really a big fan of it. I do like the fact that you don't have to get both keys. That That is kind of cool, but other than that, eh, there wasn't really much about that level that stood out. Okay, trial by fire. Let's see what this is all about. Looks like this has a little bit of everything going on. Okay, so we have a teleport thing here. Uh, I'm really nervous about whatever this is. Except I can just do this. Okay, so this takes me here. So I take it this is for leaving there so I can get back and forth, right? Okay, so I need to get hiking boots somewhere. Let's change. Get the hiking boots. And then we will go forward. Okay. So going in here. Okay. A little nervous about this. There we go. Just want to make sure I took care of that. So, I'm going to need to visit that hook room, too. Uh, hang on. There we go, you can do it like that. So, hang on a sec. How do you... I would need to do this. And then I take it, you do this. And it seems to make the most sense. That's a cool old room, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna leave all my stuff here just in case I need it later. Okay, so this is gonna mean, yeah, doing that. Um, okay. So you go there, there we go. All right, I am hesitant to do that explodey stuff there until I know for sure. Uh, is there a ghost we're supposed to get down in that area or what? Oh, it's a dynamite, ah, okay. That makes a lot more sense. That's cool. I like that. It's a nice room. All right, I'm taking it that we do that. Wait, was I supposed to use the yellow tank on that? Oh, no. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I was going to say, if we had to do that, oh, my goodness. All right, so we do this. We get foil and a bribe, which is interesting. So that's for that, I'm assuming. So now we go up here. I think this last part through, you don't want to fail now. So this is the last part? 
It looks like it. Okay. So what's the ultimate goal here? It looks like getting the key and then going through the door. So if I put the foil there, it's going to go all the way up, and I don't think that's correct, so let's not do that. If I put it here, okay, I think that's that's correct, because then it's going to go here. But is that all we need the ghost to do, or is there more than that? I think there's more. We, we want the ghost to get the wire and then open the door up for us, so... Let's make sure that happens, too. Yeah. Whew, that was close. Okay. So, wait a minute. How do I get back to the railroad area? Oh, here. We can just go right through here. Whew, okay. Wait, how do we get in there? Did we skip a whole section earlier? I think we skipped a whole section. Oh no. Uh, let's go back if we can. I'm not sure we can. Uh, can we do stuff here or not? How do you get... Oh! That's a green teleport area. So the entire time we were going through the green teleports, we never once ended up in that. Amazing. Huh, okay. This is a cool little, like, little potpourri style, you know, little bit of everything kind of level. I can dig it. Okay. I'm glad that that's possible to go back after all that. That is kind of nice. And we can exit too, so there's that as well. Cool, alright, so that is Trial by Fire. I'm going to give that a 4, like that's not a bad variety level, I, I quite like that one. That's a, that's a pretty cool level. Alright, so with that in mind, let us move on to Highlighter. Ooh, man, that's a, that's a pattern there. Uh, okay, I'm gonna need to figure out a way to get these yellow teleports. How do I do that? Can I do that? There we go. Okay, so is the objective here to get the balls into... Oh, okay. Wait a minute, which directions do those go? Okay, so that's up, right. I'm assuming that's up and then right. So right up, right up is the, the pattern. Let's keep that in mind. Um, let's do that so I can at least go in there. Okay. So this one's right. So I need to get these into these areas so I can get the stuff. Okay. This could be tricky. Okay, so I'm going to need to make sure that I can get that teleport out. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we got that. This kind of reminds me, this is this may sound like a weird comparison, this kind of reminds me of keyboard malfunction from CCLP4. Okay, so now I'm going to just queer all these out. I, I don't see any reason not to at this point. Alright, so that is a so th that, that's a horizontal one as well. Oh man, this is going to be weird. I need to figure out a way to get it to go left. Because it's going to need to go in here. 
So hang on a sec. If I go this way, okay, good. Okay, that's at least helpful. Oh no, 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 no. Um, <laughs> uh, wait, it's against the wall. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Nothing's ruined. Okay, so now we can go through there. So now we have the two ones that go up. That should be pretty simple to pull off. Okay, so let's do this one first, and then do this. Okay, this is actually a pretty simple level. You just gotta know how to wrangle the yellow teleport around, which... Honestly, I would rather prefer a level like this for yellow teleports than a lot of the other ones out there. Okay, so as long as we do something like that, we should be fine. Alright, there we go. Are there bonuses? That'd be kind of cool. There aren't any 1,000 bonuses to keep the yellow thing up. Man, that would have been awesome. Oh well. That is a really solid level. That's getting a 5. I, I really like that one a lot. Alright, moving on to Why Are You Doing This? That's a cool title. Okay, so I can see that there's a bunch of tripwire kind of traps going on here. Interesting. Hmm. I like how you don't get a wire right away. You can just see all this stuff going down. That's kind of cool. Hmm. I'm just doing as much as I can without a wire. Just so I can be prepared for when I do need one. Okay, what does that accomplish? That allows me to get through that. Okay, I don't see any harm in doing that. Do I want that yet? I'm going to go up here and just check this area out. Okay, I see we're going to need to get the wire through that. Um, that's going to clone blocks. We don't want to go through there, I don't think. That's just going to kill us. Yeah, there's definitely some traps here. We need to be very careful. Okay, I, I think we've done all we can do. Let's go ahead and go forward. This area, though, I'm a little worried about with this block. I don't know if we need to, like, slap the block? I think we do. I think we're going to need to slap it. Okay. Um, I don't see any reason not to do that, so let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, I know it's not going to clone any other way, so that's helpful. I have no idea what we just activated there. Okay, don't go through that. Oh, right, it can't clone another one till we, till we do that. Okay, so this one... This allows us to go through here. Okay, let's go through and do this next. So we can go through and do that. So that's what we activated. Okay, this allows us at least to go through that. So that switches the toggles. It doesn't actually, per it, is, it doesn't work like the pink walls work. Okay, that helps with that. That's a cool room. I like that a lot. Oh, I need to drop it. Drop it! Okay, we got all the chips. I'm, I am curious about this bonus, though. I am really curious about this. Um, so, do I just 
slap it? I do slap it. Okay, I guess that's it. So what's the point of this wall, uh, trap here? I'm curious about that. Okay. Oh, I see. I need to go up through there. This is a cool way to show how wires work. I, I really like this kind of as a sort of tutorial, but not like an actual level that showcases a bunch of neat stuff. Ah, that's clever. I like that. I'm going to give that a 5. That That is a sweet level. I really like that a lot. That's definitely a 5 for me. Alright, triple B battery. Triple B battery. Are there such things as triple B batteries? I know there's triple A's. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me considering how many weird batteries there are out there. Okay, so this also involves wires, but on a much grander scale. Okay, what are we even doing? I see that there's bowling balls and something here. I don't quite know what we're doing with any of these blocks. There's ice blocks as well, which is weird. I Okay, well, let's take a look at where everything's going. So we have a bunch of wires, and they all lead here. Okay, so they're not buttons that you hold down. It seems like you actually need to use a, a zap, a wire, electric, you know what I mean, one of those things. So I saw some, some of those in the lower right. I guess let's try going for them? The thing that's concerning here, though, is that even if I did get one, how does that solve the issue of, uh, I'm just looking here. I see bowling balls. I just don't understand what the bowling balls do for us, though. So the ultimate objective seems to be getting three red keys, right? That that seems to be the what's going on here. So do the three red keys and the three bowling balls have anything to do with each other or not? Yeah, see, once I go in there, I'm kind of screwed. So is the idea that you're supposed to roll the bowling ball such that it takes the wire with it and holds it down long enough for you to make an approach to the key and get out? Is that what's going on? Okay. I'm just going to try it. Well, I need to get a green key first, though. Where do you get a green key? Oh, there's also a... Ooh, there's also the ice blocks, and that gives me an idea. Wait a second. Oh, wait, never mind. I don't think that's going to work. I was thinking maybe we could send a bowling ball on a course that will allow it to go bounce back and forth with ice, but I don't know if that's possible. So how do you, where's a green key? Is it under one of these? Is it? Oh, it's there. Okay. So I'm going to need to get the chips before I do any of this stuff. Huh. So this almost suggests that you had to create some perpetual motion machine for these things. Right? Like that, that's almost certainly the case. Okay, um, let's give this a, a try. I'm going to try something here. So if I go down here and position this here, let's use the ice blocks down here in the corners. I think that's going to be for the best. We have a lot of dirt blocks, so I don't, I'm not terribly worried about those. This is a really strange level. I'm liking the way it feels, though. It, it kind of has the feeling of like a classic level. 
Okay, so let's do that, and then I'm going to get an ice block in both corners. Can I approach from here? Oh good, that makes this so much easier. So if I do this, and I put two... I, I find it interesting there's six ice blocks. I don't think that's a coincidence. The one worry I have about this, I, I will say, is I'm worried that I may have misused the blocks here down in this uh, uh, lower area. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. So for this one, where can we make this work? Seems like here and here. The one issue I'm seeing with that, though, is that I need to find a way to create a stopping point for this. Oof. That would take three blocks on that one. So that, but that would take care of both of these, right? I think. Let's at least give it a shot. I don't see the harm in it. Oh wait, I need the ice first. I need to do the ice block first. This is an interesting idea. I do like this this idea. It's very, it feels very original. Okay, so as long as I put this dirt block here, I think we'll be fine. And then I can put an ice block way up there. Is that it? It's this one. Yeah, okay. So I still need to get the remaining bowling balls and whatnot. So I think that's going to be our next thing to uh, look at here. Do we have any more dirt blocks? I think we do in the very, very upper left. I'm hoping I'm not wasting anything. Like, I feel like this is fine, but we'll see. I guess I don't even need... Wait a minute. I don't even need this many things, right? I can just do this here. I feel like I, I found a bust. Oh, wait. It's going to break that. Oh, I'm an idiot. Of course, it wouldn't be that easy. So I probably have to set something up with these, right? So two and two. Okay, hang on a sec. I'm sure it involves something like this. Like You have to do one here to get this top one. The one in the middle is the one that's weird. Like, I'm that one I don't know about. I'm really curious to see how that works out. So, like, this would make sense. You, you do this... So we, we get this set up there. Okay, that, that makes sense. But what about the one down here? This one here is the one that I am really curious about. I see the lone water space here. So is there a... Oh. Oh. That is not what I was expecting. So... Hang on a sec. There's just enough ice blocks to make this work, so I'm trying to use dirt blocks wherever I can. So either way, no matter what row I was on here, this would have amounted to the same number. So we can do that. This is a this is a really odd level, but I like it. It's it's definitely interesting. And then we have this thing down here. Like, this is a good example of how to do a block pushing level 
that's that doesn't feel tedious. I mean, there's a little bit of tedium, but it's not. It doesn't feel overwhelmingly so because there's a puzzle to work out, which is pretty cool. I will say the one thing I'm not a fan of is just the time limit. I think that could be a little more lenient on this one. Okay, so we need to get the this one here too. Uh, let's go around the shorter way. I think that'll be better. Okay, so that's all of those set up. Now I just need to get the ice block. I see there's a bonus there, so I'm wondering if there's like a non-obvious solution that uses one less, maybe? All right, let's go ahead and, and start the thing here. And then for this one, we'll do that. All right, so at this point, I just need to get the remaining two items here. I like how you can see the wires flashing and the fact that they converge here in this one location. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, here we go. We have the one block there. Okay, so now I just need to go over here with this, right? Yeah. Okay, this is the one that's going to go horizontal. Now that's going to be interesting, because I don't want these to collide. Okay, hang on. Will they collide? I feel like they will, which is kind of a problem. I should have done it up here, right? Like, this would have been the safer area. Man, I... I suck at this. <laughs> okay. Let's hope it lasts for at least a little bit. Problem is, it's going to offset... Okay, come on. There we go. Survive, please. I'm glad that you can avoid that, though. That is nice. Okay, we made it. I'm not going to get a bonus. It's fine. I like that level. That That is a really cool level. I'm going to give it a four. It's not, like, my favorite thing. But, like, for a block pushing level, I, I like the way it works. It's kind of a, a neat concept. Um... The idea of using bowling balls to bounce around is cool. I think it's kind of an underused concept. It, it's it's neat. I like it. I'm I'm giving it a four. All right, tenure. Uh, this looks like refraction or something like it. Okay. So that starts up the machine here. How are you supposed to get through that? Okay, I'm curious to see. How do you get through that? That seems a little extreme, but you could do that, I suppose. It's just like... So how do you get past this, this whole thing? I don't see any way you can get through that. Are you supposed to get all the chips or are there extras? That I would be curious to know about. Hmm.
I'm glad that CC2 at the very least doesn't require the exact same strict uh, tank button stopping type stuff that uh, Lynx does. That That's one of my biggest qualms with Lynx is how precise you have to be to do that. Okay, so at least to get in here, we're going to need to get everything else. Alright, I'm going to see how much we can get away with getting getting here. But without having them bounce around. I will say, though, not exactly the biggest fan of this level so far. Oh no, not another one of these. That is so nasty. Like how do you how do you even get past that? You know what? I'm gonna look at the solution to this one. I'm so far I'm not really a fan of this. Okay, so you're going there. That's stopped. I haven't seen any other buttons either, so I'm just gonna I'm assuming that this is, whatever it is we're doing is so far on the right track. Don't tell me there's some weird shenaniganry going on with, like, offsetting the tanks or something. Oh, that's nasty. Oof. Yeah, I am not a fan of this. This is... Oh, man. That's a little much. See, now I, I can see that the one on the right is offset from where it was in my attempt, where now I can go over here in peace and it's all good. That's a little... Ugh. I don't like that. That still doesn't answer the question of how to get past the bottom area, though. Like, how to get those top four over there. That's... That's what I'm curious about. Oh, wait a minute. Can you offset the path without... Yeah, you can do... That's how you do it. I see. You, off... you let it go there... And then you have the same... Okay. I guess that's okay, but I'm just not a fan of how repetitive it is and then how stringent the top part is. I'm going to give that a 1. I remember there was a level that Pi Guy submitted for, like... Was it CCLP1? It didn't even have Pi in it, at least in a way that I could see. Maybe it did, and I'm, I'm not aware of it. But I remember he submitted a level that had tanks in a Kind of a continuing sort of pattern like that. Transformation Tuesday. Enter the top section after you have one ship remaining. Okay. There's a bunch of tanks and stuff here. Or tanks, teeth. I still have tanks on the brain. Whoa, man, that was close. Okay, this is getting kind of scary now. Um, is there a way to kill these off down here? Or I don't think there is. Okay. Let's just keep going. Yeah, that, that was a bad idea. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm bad at outrunning teeth. I, I think we've established this. That is one thing I'm not a big fan of in CC2 is the teeth. Like that, how strict it is to snatch chips away from them is really frustrating. I know that I'm being kind of careless here, but... Really? Really? I'll come back for those in a minute. Okay, let's get you all up here. I think this will work out. Okay, so I just need to lure you all down as efficiently as I can. There we go. Okay, that, that works. All right, so we got one chip left. So now we enter here and you all will die, I'm assuming. There we go. All right, let's see what happens. Ooh, there's a glider. Oh, interesting. We get a, a maze now to go through these gliders. Ooh, and now we got to be very careful about... Oh, I'm supposed to get that. Oops. I didn't realize we were supposed to do that. Okay. That makes sense. There's no flippers that we saw, so. Okay, as long as we just go up here and do this part, the rest of this is not really bad. It's just a matter of not dying. But yeah, I love how the, the whole thing becomes a, like a chase race thing at the end. That's kind of clever. I mean, I feel like it is kind of a bit of a gimmick, admittedly, but it's kind of a fun gimmick. So there is at least that. Oh, this looks hairy. Really? I don't like that teeth. That teeth is nasty, the third one. Okay, um, can we force them all to go down here? Sort of. Okay, that works out. I will say, I don't think that part's that bad. I just made it hard because I was being in a hurry and stuff. Okay. So let the chase begin! Woo! I also love how the arrow blocks are like perfectly positioned to allow this to work. Oh yes! Oh man, that's cool. All right. Um, I don't know what to give that. Like, I like the idea, and I feel like, on one hand, there's a part of me that's like, the amount of stuff that's in it is just right. Like as far as how much you have to go through, especially considering there's a chase race at the very end. But there's another part of me that's kind of like, I wish there was a little more to it than just that, you know? I'll give it a four. I'll give it a four. I think it's fine. Temptation. Okay. So what's this all about? Uh, okay, going up there is... Uh, no, I can do that. Can I do... Yes, I can do this. Okay, so now... I take it this is correct? I see what some of these are connected to, and it's a little worrying, so I'm trying to be careful. Oh, that was a temptation. I fell for it. Okay. So let's not do that. 
You go up here. Okay, so don't go in, up in that area. So how do I get back over there? That's the question. I guess just doing that? But then that happens. Oh, wait, there's a fire there. I missed that. I didn't even see that there was a fire there. This kind of reminds me of that uh, button smasher level. Kind of. Okay. So at the very least, I need to do this. But not that. So how do you get out of that? Do you just go back up? That would seem to be the case, almost. Yeah, you have to go back up. Okay, so we go through here? I don't want to go down there. Yeah, there we go. That, that's how you do that. That's cool. Okay, so now... Where do I go to get... Wait, was I supposed to avoid that red door? I was supposed to avoid the red door, wasn't I? Yeah, ooh, that's tricky. Well played. Okay, that is a, that's a trick. That is definitely a trick. Oh, whoops. Okay. Okay, so where do you go exactly? Here. I don't know why I was so averse to going there. That was weird. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, I forgot that would be closed. Wow, there's a lot of little traps here. Okay, so be sure to do that first as a precaution, then we can go in here and do all this stuff. Okay. Wait, why didn't that... Wait a minute. I thought there was a wire that went down. Did I misread that? I guess I did. Hmm. I guess there is no wire that goes down there. I keep thinking that I would get trapped if I go in there. I, I have a weird mental block against that plot spot there. Uh, so I can just go back through here? There we go. Okay. So, what exactly are we doing here? Here? We can do this. So somehow we could get that bonus. How would you do that? Oh, I see. You could slap it and then make a loop around with that top log looking thing. That was a cool level. I'll give it a three. Okay, Axis. This is actually one of my levels. It's a level I made where only Chip or Melinda could go in a certain set of directions. But Chip is left and right, and Melinda is up and down. It's basically a simple item swapper. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, so I have to be Chip for this one. Okay, turn back to Melinda. I think we need to be Melinda again just to get this. Uh, 
Uh, I think we need to go back up again. It's been a while since I've played this. Um, I'm going to switch to chip so we can use the green key more than once here. I think it, this is the only other green door left, but I'll go ahead and go horizontal just to be safe. Okay, and then press the button one more time. Um, I can't remember how to do this part. I'm just going to assume that we do that. Let's just leave the hook there. Oh, whoop, 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 whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I was supposed to use a bowling ball in that. I was being silly. Okay. Let's not do that again. Okay, chip is horizontal. Wind is vertical. Okay. So go this way, get that. Go this way, get this. I will say, while the balls are kind of unnecessary, I like the fact that they kind of make everything a little less just procedural as far as getting everything goes. Like you kind of have to keep on your toes a little bit. Okay, let's do this part first. Okay, switch the toggles. And that should be enough. Oh, wait, I need to put, pull it all the way here, don't I? If I can destroy that. I forgot about that. Um, wait a minute. Right, I do need to go up here. So doing this will allow us to cross this. Actually, I think that's probably one of my favorite things about the level. The fact that that block kind of has to transcend both of the axes. I kind of like that for some reason. All right, I'm going to drop the hook. Let's do that. Because I don't think we need that anymore. Um, this one. I need to do this. There we go. All right, so we got all the stuff. I could go around and get all the bonuses, but I won't. I'll just go ahead and do that so we can fix it. That is Axis. Um, I'm not sure what to make of this as far as like a rating. I think the concept is cool, but on the other hand, it's kind of like it's mainly just a showcase for it in the form of a simple item swapper, and there's really not a whole lot more to it than that. So I'm going to give it a three. All right, Ice Maiden. Um, so this is like, I had to get the doppelgangers to free me? Is that what's going on? I have no idea what the contents of this maze are. But it does look like there's some Taurus-like element to it. Okay, that's a dead end. So how do you get over here? Is it this way? No, it's up there. Okay. This is interesting because you're having to navigate this basically through a torus. That is so interesting. So like, it makes it look like there's all these different Wait a minute. There we go. That is very fascinating. And I really like it. <laughs> I like the way that opening section works. That's that's cool. 
So now I just need to actually find my way out for real. Yeah, so there must be teleports, like, all over the place here. Like, there has to be. So something locked that trap into place. So how do I get out of here? Uh, do I go this way? It's probably this way. No? I don't see how to leave. I'm honestly a little worried about getting out of here. Like, where do you go to get out? Did I even go the right way when I got released? Uh, hang on, I need to go this way. Let's check on the opening area once again. <laughs> mm, excuse me. I'm also curious about the makeup of the ice blocks and stuff too. Like, what's through here? Nothing? I guess that's a... Okay, I can't quite make it through that, not without... Well, actually, no, it's pointless to go through that. How do you get out? Okay, I'm just staring at this for a minute, just to get my bearings. It looks like if I go through here, I can manage... No. No, wait a minute. No, I do need to go through this little thing. Okay, is there a way? Okay, good. There we go. There we go. Okay. I think we sort of got it. There we go. Got it. Okay. Wow, that's a... Whoa! Hi. Hi. Uh, hello? Okay. What in the world? <laughs> that is so interesting. Wow, that's a, a fascinating maze. I liked it. I'm going to give it a four, honestly. Like, that was kind of cool. I like that the ending was weird, but I think it's manageable. Yeah, I'm going to give that a four. I, I liked that. The, the way that the beginning worked, too, was kind of clever with the Taurus-like thing, even though it wasn't really a Taurus. Okay, Pursued. Okay, I need to figure out a way to keep this open, don't I? Uh, hang on. There we go. Woo! Let's go. Because yeah, if we didn't do that, then we would get here and we would be trapped. I'm giving that a one. I'm not. I don't think the level itself is really that great. The islands. Okay. Yeah. Basically, it was just that gimmick of the chase race and then being like, "Oh, gotcha." You know, we. You thought this, but it's really this, and whoops. Okay, let's uh, get serious about the island here. So it's an island, and it seems to be a maze, and they're a maze. I'm wondering, was this a CC1 level? It seems like it got converted with the 9x9 nine nine grid uh, viewpoint here. Okay, so that seems to be the bounds of where we can go there. Let's I think I see that that I think that's the opening there. Let's just get everything we can here and then proceed onward. Oh wait, we can just go through here. Never mind. 
We don't actually have to do any fancy force floor sidestepping. Okay, nothing to do there. Okay, this is just dirt. Gravel. Is this really it? I guess this is all this is. Yeah, this is, uh, kind of sad. I was hoping that this, there would be a little more to it than that. I like the aesthetic of it, but the gameplay just was kind of lacking, so I'm going to give that one a 1 as well. Alright, 6 more to go. Double E final. 9 problems, 10 minutes. Use the keys to skip up to 2 questions. Okay, so there's a bowling ball here. Okay, so this seems to be a logic gate level. Uh, so that's going to go there. That's going to go there. Hmm. So am I going to need to do like two of these at the same time? Is that what's going on? I feel like that's what's going on here. Um, so I need to do both of them though, right? Like, there we go. That's how you do it. Okay. Then we have a bunch of numbers here. Five, 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 five. So are we supposed to get them all to overflow? Is that what's going on? So these go down. Huh. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> I like this mechanism. So this is like counting up. Okay. So this is counting down. Huh. Very interesting. Like, I like the way this works, but it's like... You really have to kind of consider what you're doing with the... The uppermost one is the one that kind of worries me a little bit. So I can get this down to like... Hang on a sec. So what happens if I do this? Oh wait, that's just a horizontal one. I'm being an idiot here. So, the one thing I see with this that's kind of a bit of an issue is that counting these down, unless there's some way to make these really speed up, that top one is going to be an issue, and that's concerning. Like, that's really concerning. So hang on a sec. If I could just keep on doing this here. There we go. I got that one. <laughs> this is such a weird level. Oh, man. I'm worried about the... Wait! Did... Oh, it didn't stay. Oh no, okay, let's not worry about that then. Okay, what's this all about? This is like... Okay, I need to do that to get that there. And then this guy can do these, right? Okay, so that's cool. But then I need to, in turn, do that to connect that one. And then these two to continue. Okay, good. So I did that. 
I mean, that wasn't so bad. Okay, so what's this all about? This connects to that inverter that goes into this latch thing, and then... Okay, that's... What does this do? That doesn't even do anything. Unless it's supposed to... Okay, there. Okay, there we go. So that should... No? Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. So that goes there. Now I can carry on the torch, so to speak. There we go. Okay, that looks... What? Uh... What am I supposed to do with this? So it goes through, and it goes along a bunch of different... Oh, yeah, that's the entrance point. So it just kind of flashes through this. So am I supposed to hit the switch? No? Let's try doing it here. There we go! Okay, we're getting there. We have one key left to skip the thing with here. Um, okay, there's a, there's a lot going on with this. So how do I make that work? And then that... What? How does that work? Uh, okay, that's just strange. I, I don't get that. Okay, that helped with that one. I just need to get this one in line. How do you do this part, though? This is what bothers me. I don't get how this area here is supposed to function. Am I supposed to undo this one? Like, how do you get this to work? This is what I'm lost on. Like, this is not even doing anything now. Oh my goodness. Time's running out, too. Ooh. Did I already mess this up, I'm wondering? Okay, that, that seems to suggest that that's fine, and then, then you do that. I'm just wondering if maybe we missed the boat on this one. Let's keep going. Okay, um... Okay, that causes that to go... Okay, what does this do? Seems to be another number based one. Do we just keep going until it overflows or underflows? Okay, it seems to have worked. This is going to take a while, isn't it? No? Oh, this was sp Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, well, maybe not, but... Why didn't that work? Shouldn't that have opened? Like, I did both of these, right? And then they go... 
Did I just undo all I did? I'm gonna see the answer to this because man, this is tough. This is one tough level. I I feel like see, I'm really I'm really torn on this being in this in the final set because on one hand I like the idea of it. On the other hand, the time limit feels like it could be totally ditched. Okay, I'm curious to know what the solution of this is. This is Okay, so this is going kind of in multiples of 10 at a time here. Okay, now we're going in... Okay. There we go. That's cool. I, I do like that. This room is, is pretty neat, too. I do like this one. But yeah, my main concern with a level like this is that I just don't think there's enough logic gate levels to build up to something. To this, like, I don't know. That that's the thing I'm I'm really hesitant on here. Is is this level? Is it really going to fit in an official set? If if that makes sense. And I, I get that it's completely doable and stuff. Oh, there we go. So did we just mess that up earlier? with the way we were handling this, or did I just completely mess it up? Like, did I... Did I screw the whole thing, is what I'm wondering. Okay, see, this part... Okay, so you really do need to get all of them to be nine. Okay, we haven't been in here yet. But this looks like a tangle of stuff, like this is craziness here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That that is pretty cool. I man, I am really torn on this one. I don't know what to give it. Uh I'm gonna give it a three. I I feel like see here's the thing. I feel like I might give it a four if the time limit were untimed. Like and for that reason I feel like I should give it a four because that's kind of a bit of an easy change to make. So I actually yeah, I'm gonna give it a four. I would definitely not mind seeing this in the final set, but I just wish that there's a good logic gate tutorial to build up to it. I think that's my main concern with it. Okay, let's go ahead and go back. Okay. Ah, this level, CC2 Doku. Okay, so earlier when we did Melinda Teaches Logic Puzzles 101, I mentioned that there was a uh, level that had a logic puzzle of sorts that I was looking forward to playing, and that I would probably vote for that one really highly, and that's this one. So this is a Sudoku, and as this hint mentions, after solving this boot Sudoku, take this corridor to have a team of ghosts check your solution. If it's right, they'll let you out. The amount of effort that must have gone into this is, like, I can't even imagine how this must have worked to get ghosts to double check your solution for you. So I'm going to just go through the colors of the rainbow here and see if we can deduce anything. For this helmet area, I don't think we can actually say with certainty where either here or here or here or here go. So, actually, no. We can say that it, this one goes on this column uh, because the, this is all filled up. So, that still doesn't answer which of the two rows it goes on. So, let's just leave it be for now. Fire boots. Let's do that next. Fire boots, I don't think we actually have enough information on yet. The middle square either goes here or here, so there is that to work with. So we'll come back to that in a minute. Bribes. Okay, bribes. It would have to go either here or here on the bottom left square, and here or here on this square. That's kind of all we know, so let's, yeah, let's leave that one be as well. Okay, uh, hiking boots. Hiking boots. 
Okay, we, I see one hiking boot that we can place. So I can put one here, because uh, it can't go on this row because of that hiking boot. So with that in mind, we should be able to put another hiking boot on this space right here, because it has to go on this row since this one's already filled up. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's all done. Now, can we do anything with the middle? I don't think so, not without more information. So let's come back to that one later. Um, the railroad sign. Okay, definitely has to go here for the east square. So we'll do that. All right, and then for this uh, one up there, um, hmm. We know that it's it doesn't go okay. Yeah, I, I guess we don't really know. Let's come back to railroads later. Uh, suction boots. Suction boots have to go either here or here in the top right square. Actually, no, they have to go here because that row is filled up in the middle square for the top. So let's do that. So we got the suction down. I don't for at least for one of them. I don't think we really have got a lot of information for this other than that. So let's continue to skates. So skates, um, yeah, I'm not really seeing a whole lot we can do with skates right now. So quick question, this one here, we need, what are we missing on this? Flippers and a zapper, which are here and here. So zapper here, flippers there. I kind of want to wait to do those, though, but at the same time, I want to put them there for visual clarity, just so we don't mix anything up. All right, so we're almost done with this square. So what's missing on that square? We have a helmet, we have a bribe, and we also have flippers. And so helmet can go here and here, bribe can go here and here. And flippers can go in all three, I think. So that's not really helpful right now. Yeah, let's wait on that. Let's wait on that. Um, so let's go continue on down the line here. So um, skates. Did we finish the skates? I think we did, didn't we? Skate here. Nothing there. Skate, skate. No. Okay. So the bottom left square has to go either here or there. Okay. Flippers. I don't think we can do much of those. Moving on. Um, lightning bolts. So lightning bolts. I think he... it has to go here, right? For the, the west square. Because everywhere else is blocked. So let's do that. Okay. And then this one would have a lightning bolt too. Okay, so we've we've done one pass through these. Let's continue onward with doing more of them. So it is the middle left. Okay. Okay, so let's continue back by going through all these again and see if we can declare anything new based on what we know. So we do know that the fire boots and the bribe, at least for this top left square, have to go... Wait, the bribe actually has to go there. We do know that. So let's put that there, which means the fire boots in turn must go here so let's do that for now uh next up we have the flippers and the railroad so i don't think we can make any conclusions about that but because of that we can safely assume that the the lightning bolt goes over here to complete the line so that helps a lot with that and then that means that there's a lightning bolt here. So that gets all the lightning bolts placed, which is good news. Okay, so I think that should do it for lightning bolts. So now, where can we target next here? Let's figure it out. We still have this empty square over there. Okay, here we are missing a flipper and a fire boot, and we do know where both of those go. So let's go ahead and take care of those. I'm going to try to see if we can knock this out a little more quickly. So fire flipper has to go first, then fire boot. So at least we got that done. Um, 
So that means, can we make any statements about the flippers down here? They're on one of these three. Okay, not yet. Fire boots, we don't have enough information for down there yet, so not happening. But we can put a fire boot there. Well, at least we know that one goes up here. Okay, so that's good news. Um, yeah, the middle one for the the center and then the or yeah the middle column for the center and then the top uh, the bottom squares we don't really know yet. Although we can safely say that the fire boot over here has to go on this row because this is already filled up, so that part helps. So it has to go down here for the bottom middle square. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. So are there any more lines that we can work on? We have this one here, which is currently missing a flipper, as well as a, what's the other thing? It's got a helmet, bribe, bribe, okay. And the bribe has to go here because of this row. So let's do that next. I'm worried that we're going to mix up some items here if we're not careful, so I'm going to try to be mindful of it. So we're still missing a flipper here and a helmet. Well, we do know that the flipper has to go where we're standing now because the uh, the way everything's ordered. So let's go ahead and do that. We can finish that square up at least. So helm helmet goes here, flipper goes there. Okay. So that's good to know. So now we can safely assume that a helmet goes all the way down there. Does that help in any way with anything else? What are we missing in the middle square? We're missing a helmet, which we know goes there. We're missing a fire boots, which can go either here or here. We're missing a um, bribe which would have to go here. So, helmet, bribe, fire boot, and skate? Is that it? Okay, hang on, I'm gonna get rid of all these. I'm just gonna put them in order here, so. Okay. I'm worried that we're juggling a little too much at one, one time here. Okay, so skate goes here, fire boot goes there. Um, drop the flippers. Um, the helmet goes here. Oh, sorry, there. Okay, got it. Okay, there we go. I think that should do it for that, that area. Okay, so I'm going to just see if we can go on a a tour for putting all the rest of the helmets down here. Can we do that? And right now, not sure, because we have two sets that of spots there that could work for that area. As for up here, this is possible. I can put it there. We know that the helmet has to go there at least. Okay, so now that we have that done, um, I need to get a railroad sign. I'm going to put the helmets back. I need to get a railroad sign, a skate, and a bribe there. So the bribe has to go up here, which means the railroad sign's there and skate's in the middle. Okay. Bribe, railroad sign, uh, skate's in the middle. There we go. Okay. So that's all good, all set. So now in this line I have, what do I have here? I have a suction boots, and I have a hiking boots. Can I make any inferences about where those go? Unfortunately, no. I don't think I can. Okay, that's kind of a bummer. So, I guess, unless there's something else we can do down over there, let's go down here. Um, hmm. 
I am really curious on how we're going to tackle some of this stuff. Okay, the bribe for the lower left corner has to go there. So let's do that. In fact, with that, we should be able to put both of the remaining bribes out. Uh, because the middle one has to go here. So all the bribes are done. So all the wires are done and all the bribes are done. Um, what do we have left that doesn't have many to place? Um, we have hiking boots, which we established earlier the issue with the hiking boots here. Although, I think we can safely say that one goes here because it has to go on the top row of the bottom three rows. So let's go ahead and put that there. Which in turn means that this is taken up by a fire boot. So we now know that a fire boot goes there. And with that, I, I'm wondering if we can place all the fire boots now. Wait, where do we agree to place it? Hang on. Yeah, up here, because that's where you have to put it. So that means that one goes there for the middle lower square, and then the one over here would have to be, yeah, right here. Okay, so that gets rid of all the fire boots. We're good to go on that front. Okay, so that, that is really good news. Very, very good news. Um, where should we set our sights on next? Skates, maybe? Skates might not be bad. So for this upper square, what are we missing? A railroad? We're still missing a railroad and a flipper. A railroad and a flipper. And we still don't know where those go. Okay, that's not good. Hmm. So we're also missing a flipper, a skate, and a suction boot here. So the suction boot has to go there. Um, like that much we can pretty much say for certain, I think. Because there's no other place we can put that on that square. Okay. So if that goes there, then that means that at least in this lower one... Okay, it's still either here or here. Not helpful. Yeah, the suction boots have turned out to be kind of a bit of a pain. I'm sure there's some like more complex strategy you can use to solve this, but I'm not really going to dig that up here. Um, okay, so for this fourth column, we're missing a helmet, and we're missing a, um, what you call it, flipper. So is there anywhere that we can, okay, the helmet has to go to the bottom, flipper at the top. Gotcha. All right, I'm going to just take both helmets. So flipper goes here. It doesn't help us with the left uh, top left square yet, though. But it does help us with this, because we can safely put this one down there. So that does help. So we're still missing in this middle bottom square a railroad, a suction boot, and a, um, a hiking boot. So the hiking boot has to go where I'm standing now. But the other two, unfortunately, there's not really a whole lot I can make based on that. So I have to put that there. Where are we missing a hiking boot? Up here? Up here. Okay. I think, yeah, it's that column, right? That's, yeah. Okay, so that fifth column is missing a, a railroad and a suction. Can I make anything happen here? Okay, it has to be railroad up here, suction down there, because of the way that's set up. Okay, we're almost there. So that means there's a railroad that goes there. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put that there for now, just to, just to complete the square. I know I'm just doing a bunch of back and forth. Thing. I could go through the teleport. I don't know why I'm not going through the teleport. Um... Okay, so what's missing here? We're missing a flipper and a skate. Still no word on what the best course of action to do there is. Yeah, there, there's still not enough info, at least based on just those two things alone. However, I could put a suction there. 
So let's do that next. I'm going to work on this. I'm going to go through each boot one at a time, basically. Let's put a suction there. Okay, so left suctions are done. Middle suctions. Okay, that has to go there. So that means that this top right square of the middle um, north area here has to be a skate, right? Like that makes the most sense. Okay, so that's done. So what are we missing? I need to put a railroad there. Okay, so that solves our issue with the railroads. So let's work on those. Um, I need to put a railroad here in the middle. And then I need to put another one over here. Or wait, no, not there. Um, here. I need to put one on the right. Okay, I'm going to need to drop these on the way. So that means that a flipper has to go, actually, let's just do it one at a time. Flipper has to go there. Okay, we're finally done with that. Okay, so with that in mind, we should be able to place these last four without too much trouble. So a flipper has to go, make sure I got this right, in this, this spot, which means a skate goes in that spot. That means that a skate goes in this spot and a flipper goes in this spot, right? Okay, I think that is correct. I think that is the solution. I don't believe we've messed up. We can give it one final glance over, but I don't feel like checking all this. So, I, I haven't seen any major alarm bells going off, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Okay, let's hope it's right. Yes, awesome. Well, that is definitely getting a five. I really like that concept. It's cool. It works really well. It, Even though it involves a lot of back and forth, it didn't really feel tedious to me. So definitely a five. Okay, Tulip Garden. Okay, so I think what you're supposed to do here, I remember playtesting this. I, I definitely remember playtesting this. And I think what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get, um, wait a minute. How do you get something to trigger that ghost cloner? I think there's something that switching the toggle buttons does. Let me check here. Hang on, I'm just going to see it. How does that work? Is that a... Oh, that's a closed toggle wall. Okay, I'm starting over so we don't waste time. Okay, so the ghost has to clear a path, I think. Or wait. These are all going to be chips when, when it does that. So let's just make sure that we're doing this as efficiently as we can. So let's go up here. I'm going to put one... I'm, sh I'm making sure that it's going to clear the most chips for us. So, um, I think going down the third column is the best here. So we'll do that. And then let's do this row next like that. And then, hmm, so that's, yeah, it's going to come up here. Okay. I'm a little worried about how this is going to go, but I think we got this. I think we got it. Yeah, as long as I can go through here, it should be fine. So I have it go there, and then it can go left here, I think. And I think that should do it. This wasn't really terribly difficult. Okay, let's do that. That should be all the chips reachable. Oh, I missed that one. Wait, no. I think it'll, it'll still come around and get it. We'll see. Yeah, it'll get it. That's a pretty easy level. Like I, I was expecting it to be a lot trickier, but it's not too hard. Um... 
wow, what should I give that? On one hand, I really like it. On the other hand, I do think that it's somewhat easy to figure out, but I think that's kind of what makes it good is the fact that you can kind of just piece it all together at once and it makes for a nice early level that teaches you about how ghosts work with a fire boot. So I'll give it a four. I'll give it a four. We'll, we'll give it a four. All right. Railroad Sabotage. What? Hang on. What are we ultimately doing here? Okay. I'm trying to see like where these two things can meet that makes the most sense. And like that doesn't really do anything. Neither does that. What? It's like I had to jump on this before it can even get up here, right? Hmm. See, that's cool from the standpoint of being able to jump on this, but then they're stuck up there. So how does that work? Or do I have to specifically target that ah okay that's how you do it that's a cool concept i like that and it is kind of a bit of a gimmick but i'll give it a three i'll give it a three i i liked that that was kind of satisfying to solve all right ships wasn't there a level in chuck's challenge that was basically this i remember this this was in chuck's challenge wasn't it Okay, I need to figure out how to do this. Okay, this is a really weird dodging challenge. At least I know that they're all contained there, but still. So, how do you do this? I'm trying to get the rhythm of this here, because it's really weird. It's kind of a strange, funky rhythm. Okay, Okay, I, I see. You kind of have to just go with what column is open. Okay. Let's just wait again. So I don't think we can cross over from here. Let's go up here. Yeah, that works out. I'm giving this a one, and the reason why is because this was basically copied from a whole different game. So I like that idea, but we've seen it in Chuck's Challenge, and we don't need a duplicate here in this game. All right, open box. What does that say? Don't open the box, so don't hit any green buttons. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so this seems to be mostly a maze. Um, so we have to approach that from the right. Yeah, okay. Pretty simple. Okay, um, I don't think there's anything else to do here, is there? Nope, okay. Okay, what is this all about? 
Okay, that looks really intense. Um, what is this all about? Oh, 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 oh okay. Um, so the ones with the question mark. Is, does that? Nope, never mind. This is an odd room. So, what I'm getting here is that we're going to need to push at least one of these up to the top, right, for this to work. But I'm not sure how I can do that without opening the box, so to speak. How do you do that? I'm really confused. I'm sure there's some logical way that... Uh... Oh wait, I could just block up... Hang on. I'm, I'm being silly. I could just do this. Right, I could just push the one up here. There we go. So now I can, I'm freer to do this. Yeah, that, that's going to work a lot better. Except I panicked, which is not good. And I was a little reckless, which is also not good. Okay, so I need to actually wait there. Okay. So let's do what we did earlier. Okay, we got that. So now we'll go and actually get this, which I might need to prep by doing that. Okay, there we go. That's how you do it. So are all the bottom ones button ones? Yeah, okay. It's kind of a mean trick, but oh well. So I want to stick to the warmer buttons on this, right? Okay, this kind of reminds me of Maze of One Parody. Okay, there we go, go through that. Not there. Okay, cool. So this room, what's this room all about? Ice blocks? I take it this is just an ice block go ban. Looks like it. There's really not much going on with this one. Yeah, this is actually really simple. Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay. So now let's do the ice maze down here. Wait, did we miss a ch Oh wait, no, there that's this one. I forgot there's two down here. For some reason I I think because I was so fixated on just that one. All right. And I guess that's it. And I'll open the box for fun. Yeah, that was... There wasn't really a whole lot to that one. I mean, the, the right room was probably the most interesting one. I'll give that one a two. Alright, so that is the first half of the Harpsichord pack. Next time, we are going to go start with the race to the finish. But until then, thank you all so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed yourselves today. And I will catch you on the flip side.